In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up a simple PHP server. Okay, the server is known as XAMP, uh, which actually support uh, different types of uh, PHP servers like uh, uh, Apache server and the Tomcat server and the MySQL server. Okay, so I'll be showing a simple setup how you can write a simple uh, PHP page and how you can run that in your Windows PC. Okay. Okay, first what you have to do is uh, just go to your browser and search for XAM. The spelling is XAMPP. Okay, it is uh, clearly saying uh, from the Wikipedia it is a free and open source cloud closed platform web server solution. Okay, so I uh, mean, sir, it's a web server solution which support uh, different types of servers like Apache, as I told, uh, and uh, MySQL server. And there are two three different uh, servers also. I'll, I will check that one here. So simply search this one in your browser and go to the uh, page. And uh, here a download option will be there. Here's the download option. And once you click that, it will be taken to a page like uh, where you can dar uh, directly take your version. Okay. So we are going to take uh, uh, the 32 in the home page itself. There is a download option. Here it is. Just click on that. So it once you click that it will download a one to 124 MP exe file. Okay, so wait for that uh, to be downloaded. Yes, the installation file has been downloaded as you can see here. It's a uh, the one which uh, we download is Windows 32 bit and uh, the version is 7.2.6. Okay, uh, so this is the installation file. We can just go for the installation. Just double click on. So it's giving a uh, pop-up message that your antivirus is uh, turned on. So I'm going to post my antivirus for as it is saying to post it. So I'm uh, putting it as until my next reboot. Click on yes for the installation to be uh, proceeded. So we have already accepted for the user account. Can just click OK and just go on to for the installation just clicking a next okay so it's uh, asking like to install all these we don't want all these one we just need our apache only so mysql is already installed my uh, pc so i don't need it so ftp uh, server not needed mail server no tomcat yeah let it be the tomcat and uh, Perl we don't need it and just put the php my admin also okay so this is the basic one uh, for what we need for a uh, the the one which we need for a uh, um, PHP is uh, the Apache only okay Apache only uh, uh, only the the server which we need for to run PHP is the Apache only okay now I'm just installing these two just uh, for our reference just click next and this uh, installation directory I'm selecting just uh, proceed as the default and just click uh, next we don't want this one just click next and setup is now ready for installing just click next okay now wait for at least five minutes because it may take some time so yes let's wait yes the installation has complete and this is the final screen which you can uh, see here and it is asking like do you want to start the control panel now yes we can start just click finish and again wait for some time and it's asking for the language i'm selecting it as english and just click save yes our control panel has been started and this is the exam control panel okay so this control panel you can directly access from your start menu and here it is start menu and down uh, near to your uh, volume controller there will be here you can see exam will be available here also okay and now we are ready to start the apache server you can just click on start and see the Apache is starting on oh yes the Apache is started you can see and now it's running on local host on port 8080 and 443 okay now let us try from our browser just to type local host and if I'm just pressing enter yes the exam server has been started okay and as you can see here we can start the Tomcat server also just click on start and let's see what is this coming I believe it will be also started it's attempting yes it is also started and it's running in port 8080 uh, 8005 8009 let's try 8080 because it's a common port number for Tomcat okay 
yes the tomcat server is also started okay and this tomcat server is basically we can host a java application and all so we don't we are not going to check this one we are concentrating on exam on php okay and these folder i mean these files are located in c drive okay? yes you can see so in C drive there is a folder xm where we have installed our exam server just open it and inside there you can see a folder named sddocs okay so this is basically uh, the folder all of all your uh, php pages uh, where your local host is actually loading you can see it's uh, loading from there if you are putting local host it is taking to a folder named dashboard you can see the dashboard here and uh, basically it's uh, actually should load uh, the index.php and it is getting redirected to uh, the inside dashboard there is an index.html is actually redirecting there so let's check inside this uh, one let's see what is the yes as i told it's getting redirected the server is on uh, you can see the url is getting redirected to dashboard so we can change that actually so yes all, all you have to write your PHP code is inside this folder only. Okay, let's try that. Now uh, we don't need any of uh, these uh, files, so uh, it's all actually the default files from uh, the exam. I'm going to delete from here, just delete everything. And now let's see what is coming in this exam. It will be a page not found error. Yes, page not found error is there. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, write a simple PHP. Actually, this is the index to, uh, PHP. It's uh, showing here. So let's uh, let's uh, let's edit that uh, index.php. So this is the index.php again. I'm, I don't want any of these. And uh, I just need. I'm inside this PHP tag. I'm just uh, giving to print some values. Echo uh test php page yes that's all if i'm just uh, saving this one from here and let's go to our local host if i'm just pressing here here it is test php page is loaded okay so here you can write all your uh all your php uh php pages okay you can just create a folder here also so i'm just giving it as t1 you can give anything okay so inside I'm just I just taken that index.php inside the folder t1 and let's try from here if I'm just giving a slash t1 yes that page has is getting loaded okay so all you have to do to uh, get your PHP project done is you have to create folder in st docs here and you can just access uh, your local host after turning on your Apache uh, server okay hope you got this uh, 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 what uh, how you can uh, get your PHP server turned on and this is the simplest one what I have found so uh, you can use it for your testing purpose development purpose or even your studies everywhere okay so hope you got this all you have to get your control panel of exam and start this Apache server only you don't need this one only you have to get uh, started this uh, Apache server only okay so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll try to help you yeah, and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching